Kyle Mohan here. We're going to do a little rotary knowledge, uh, rotary tech on these stationary gears. So identifying stationary gears, if they've got a set screw in the side or they have multi-window bearings, you're probably looking at one of your later model or modified stationary gears. Prior to 93 to 95, you really didn't see multi-window gears unless they were in racing applications. So generally, these would be your late model, higher end stationary gears. From the factory, they were also hardened, so generally you can see that there's a little bit of a hardening color change that happens in the stationary gears as well. Where your earlier Series 4, non-turbo, a lot of the 12A, they didn't have that extra hardening. We're going to do a quick uh, bearing change and cleanup, which means we're going to pull those set screws and press in new bearings. Taking the actual set screw out can be difficult depending on how long it's been in there, so make sure not to strip it out and if they're being difficult get a oxygen acetylene torch and heat up just the screw head itself and that will help release it a lot of the time they're locked tight it in a little advice using a basic harbor freight press we're just set up here we've got the bearing so it'll fall out through the hole make sure you're not pressing on that alignment pin just want to center it up I'm going to use a factory Mazda press tool so we don't need that ring. That'll be for reinstallation. We're just going to be using that to press our bearing out. All right, so our bearing's out. No issues, came right out. Just used the uh, simple Harbor Freight press and Mazda press tool. For reinstallation, we're going to end up flipping that back over. We'll mark our bearing and press it in. I like to uh, take a square and then I'll actually line up that upper little alignment tab to the oil entrance hole so that way when I'm pressing it in I've got a good line to square everything up to. So now we can uh, line up our bearing to those alignment marks to that oil gallery feed hole and that just helps us line everything up for the press and on the opposing side is that set screw hole. Sometimes I'll even put a little bit of anti-seize or a little bit of lube on that leading edge. All right, we're all set up for our press in. You can see with the Mazda factory tool, our alignment marks. You can actually see right through those alignment holes, your set screw hole, oral gallery hole, assuring everything's lined up. Make sure to take your time and actually set this up really straight. You don't want it to cock over, have any misalignments, you'll damage your bearing. Take your time, press it in down to flush using the Mazda collar that we didn't have on there before. We've got it pressed all the way in. We're just going to release our tension and we can check our alignment. Nice press in. Beautiful alignment to those holes. We'll clean it back up. You can use a solvent or a hot soapy water depending on where you're at. We're going to want to put that set screw back in, make sure we use a little bit of Loctite. And then you're cleaned up, ready to go. Make sure not to scrub or use any abrasive cleaning tools on that brand new bearing. And now we have those two stationary gears that we started with all cleaned up. Fresh bearings, fresh out of the solvent tank. Just got to put those two set screws in with a little Loctite and we're ready to put them back into the motor. Just a little bit of red Loctite and tighten that set screw down.